Hi, this is the command line interface tutorial on IP spaces and broadcast domains. What we've agreed upon in the previous section is that first we'll create a new IP space, then we'll create a new broadcast domain with two VLAN ports, and we'll create a subnet. So let's first create the new IP space, or let's first check what we've got. So you run IP space show, and we see we have the cluster IP space and the default IP space with the subsequent broadcast domains and we see we've got two storage virtual machines one for each we can have multiple SVMs connected to the default broadcast domain or the default IP space we'll look at that in the next section which is on LIFS now let's have a look at the broadcast domains so we run broadcast domain show and we've got the cluster broadcast domain and we have the default broadcast domain the default broadcast domain has most of the ports the cluster broadcast domain only has the cluster interconnect ports, which is two per node. Then let's create a VLAN port first. So we're going to use E0F of node 1 and the VLAN ID is 10. We do the same for node 2. So node 2 and node 1 both have a VLAN port configured. Then we run a VLAN show and we see that we've got the two ports, one for node 1 and one for node 2. Then what we do is we run the IP space, create, and we name the IP space VLAN space. Could be any name. We create a broadcast domain. The broadcast domain is called VLAN broadcast and the MTU size is 1500. The IP space that we're going to put it in is a VLAN space and the two ports that we're going to connect to the broadcast domain are the two ports, the two VLAN ports that we created. Then we add a subnet. The subnet name is a VLAN subnet. Uh, the broadcast domain is a VLAN broadcast and the uh, subnet uh, address is 10.10.10 .10 .10, and the IP space is the VLAN space. Now let's run IP space show again and we see that we've got a new IP space which is a VLAN space. And we should also have a new broadcast domain, which is true. At the bottom we have the broadcast domain VLAN broadcast in IP space VLAN space with two ports in it. Then we run the subnet show and we see that we've got one subnet which is the VLAN subnet we just created. Now, remember we talked about failover groups? Automatically, when you create a broadcast domain, you also have uh, a failover group. So the group name is the same as the broadcast domain name. Next thing we do is we're going to delete the subnet. This is a very strict order. You can't delete the broadcast domain if it still has a subnet. So we first delete the subnet we delete the broadcast domain and we delete the IP space, VLAN space and we also delete the VLAN ports so we're all back to normal or back to what we were and the failover group show command we'll see that we'll see that uh, the failover group is automatically gone because the broadcast domain was deleted and we're done